Hey guys, this video is super exciting. Today I am going to be surprising my boyfriend with a trip to Paris. Paris. <coughs> Yeah. So this video is going to be basically a diary of how I booked it, how I tried to keep it like as low cost possible, how I told Flynn or how I'm going to tell him. I've not told him yet. His birthday is next week as of when I'm filming it. So I'm filming this on Monday the 25th birthday is this Sunday so I'm going to talk all about the prep for his birthday, how I'm going to surprise him, how I'm going to decorate everything, how I'm going to tell him it's going to be super super fun and how I booked it all so yeah if you guys want to see all of this then stay tuned. So firstly why I decided to take him to Paris, I'm only going, well we're only going for a weekend because he's started like working more full time and I want him to be able to take on jobs so say there was a job he wanted to take on but I'd already booked for us to go away I'd be kind of annoyed because it'd be wasting my money and obviously he won't want to say no to a job so I was very conscious of that so I booked only a weekend however in future I'm sure we might revisit and go for longer hopefully I'm going a couple weekends after so close to Christmas close to his birthday I'll have to wait a little bit so I'm gonna get him like a cake and some fun stuff before like so that he can be excited you know so that it feels like it's still his birthday and I'm gonna work out how I'm gonna tell him probably gonna buy him like a French baguette like a little Paris postcard loads of little funny things and give them to him so he's like hmm, what is it but I feel like he already has an inkling in what it is because it's a weekend so he probably thinks we're going somewhere or doing something and I keep kept saying that I would just go to Paris so probably already bloody knows either way it's still a nice present so number one how I booked so I have been looking for weeks and weeks and weeks and I originally thought the Eurostar would be cheaper however the Eurostar was I think it, when I was looking it was maybe 200 pound per person something crazy like 180 pound per person which i'm not paying because we've still got a hotel to book all food and everything no 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 so i ended up booking flights which were if, if it sounds also like i'm being like i spent this much money i'm not i'm just hopefully this will help you guys i think they were like 100 and something it, it came to like 200 and something altogether rather than eurostar so number one if you're booking check out both eurostar and check out flights and also check out hotel packages because sometimes they have great flight time but just it so happened that for the weekend I was going flight times were horrendous like you arrived at 11 at night on the Saturday and left at 7 in the morning on the Sunday and are you telling me I'm going to Paris just to have dinner and leave no 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 but make sure you check I checked lastminute.com I checked what other things are there I basically checked every single hotel website in the entire world I did some digging and I found out I booked on booking.com and my hotel, I booked it for one night and it was, oh, 200 euros. <laughs> that is a lot. Euros, so I think it ended up being like 160. It's a nice hotel, hopefully. <laughs> it looks really nice. A lot of the hotels that were like cheaper than that for one night looked really dingy and I thought like we're going for a nice weekend and we'll have a nice hotel. So I would recommend looking around. I did a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of looking. I didn't just pick the first most expensive one. I mean originally I wanted to go to this hotel that was £1,000 a night and I mean I would never pay that. Never. Now the next thing I want to do is research if there's any like Christmas markets to find out what we're going to do and kind of make a plan. See the thing is, is in my relationship Flynn is more of the organiser. He's better and stuff like that and I am really happy to let him do that and me take the back seat however for this I have to organize it myself so I'm sure he's gonna be very proud of me for doing it all by myself but I'm excited to tell him so he can plan it from then onwards so that the stress is taken away from me because it is just too much stress for me honestly I'm not good at this stuff so I'm gonna have a look have a little research and we'll see if we can find any fun things to do I mean obviously there's like a million and one things to do and there's not even enough time to do all of them but see if there's more fun things that's when we're gonna be there <laughs> right i've just found a christmas market that is near the notre dame i think 13th to the 29th of december which is we're gonna be there in between that time god i'm having to hold this ring light up and it's bloody heavy <laughs> now i'm gonna get to planning how to tell him guys i'm 
Excited. I really am. So guys, it's actually the day before Flynn's birthday and it's time to pick up all of his decorations. My lipstick looks very bright. Hmm. It's time to pick up all of his decorations, everything fun like that, so that I can set up for tomorrow. Because he's staying tonight and I'm slightly worried, like, how am I going to set it all up? And he wants to meet today and I'm like, I'm... I've got to get your birthday stuff, babe. So I'm trying to even plan in my head. I still haven't decided how I'm going to tell him. I have a adapter and I'm just going to say there's some Paris stuff. Put it in a goodie bag. A goodie bag? A gift bag. And hope for the very best. So I forgot to film in town what I got for Flynn. I, I don't know what to get him for cake. I struggled. So I got baklava. If he doesn't like this, it's fine. It's more the preface. I don't think he really likes cake. We can all eat it. A happy birthday, m and cake. Happy birthday. Don't know why I said like that. So I got these balloons. But they look like a horrid colour. So hopefully when I blow them up, they will look nicer. I always drink some water when I film. <laughs> then in case they're horrid, I got blue balloons. I got some weird lantern things. Where's the card? Oh, I got this card, which I'm going to write. Then I got a gift bag. So basically, in here, I'm going to put in... I didn't get a baguette. <laughs> I'll just put... Put the, your, the plug converter in it and a card. And maybe do you want to put your euros in it? Yeah, after. Be... We'll give it to him after. Yeah, I'll give that to him after. Ava, we love you. Ava, love. We love you. Are you so cute? Guys, every time I film a video of Vampire's Dungarees on, but she doesn't even wear them. You wear them a lot, but you don't. Yeah, you don't wear them every day, but. So guys, oh my god, itchy nose. I'm so tired, but it's like five o'clock and we're going out this evening for Ramony party. So I need to stop this now or never. <laughs> so I have a little glittery bag. It's not that boyish and I have pink tissue paper. I don't even know where this is from. I've had it forever. I'm just gonna put, whoa, this plug converter because there was nothing Parisian themed at all in town. I went to a bunch of different places, found nothing. So this is a plug converter for France, I hope. <laughs> Imagine if it's not. Mum gave it to me saying it was. I'm gonna wrap it in this. It's gonna be like, oh, you got me a plug. I got him two cards, because I'm nice. I got him a really cute personalised one. And then this is the one that I'm gonna write about going to Paris. Oh my god, I'm trying to think what to write. I can't think of anything. <laughs> I've not got nice handwriting either. I'm gonna write open. Oh, is this happy anniversary inside? <laughs> Oops. Okay, what do I write in it? Should I search up? How to tell my boyfriend we're going to Paris. Okay, nothing online was of any help. I know, I'll say, I love you. What better place to go than the city of love? Is that cringe? Oh, this is cringe. <laughs> I said, I love you. What better place to celebrate than the city of love? Paris. I hope you aren't disappointed it's not NYC. Maybe for the 21st. <laughs> Bag. I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear. Then we got the cake, which has got confetti all over it, <laughs> where the a balloon popped. That one's funny. And then just happy birthday. I just want to hop on here and say before Flynn opens the present that he is super grateful. He, he doesn't seem ungrateful, but he's one of those people that gets really like embarrassed and shy opening presents in front of people. And he went, he was like, please highlight that I do get embarrassed and that I'm not being ungrateful or rude. Also, he like kind of had a suspicion that we were going, which I've already said. I knew he knew. I'm so bad at surprises. There was a surprise lunch thing later in the afternoon and I definitely spoiled that too. So great. Anyway, yeah, so he kind of already, like, knew, but it's still, it's fun. It's Paris. I'm really nervous in it in a while. I've had to up. Ooh, Ooh what is that? <laughs> a European something. Oh. I've never been to a country of this plug. What about Crete? Is that the right plug? Crete is the same as England. No, it wasn't. Yeah. We had those. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> You're so observant. So, no, it's a new phrase. Ah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to say. Are we actually going? Yeah. Uh, Are you excited yeah. or no? No, I am, but I hate reacting to stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no
Um, plane. It's kind of oh, really? <coughs> I'm going to book a taxi. Oh, I thought we'd get a train. <coughs> but the no, Eurostar is like £200 each, so. The oh, Eurostar was normally more expensive. Yeah, Eurostar was more expensive. I thought it would be cheaper. No, it was really Where expensive. Was there? Um, it's like near the centre of Paris. I'll find pictures. Probably I've spent ages looking. It's really nice. Hopefully they'll give us a nice suit. Oh, well, thank you. Originally, I found a really nice place, but it was £1,000 a night, and I was like, oh, <laughs> you're not like that. <laughs> No, but you had told me, hadn't you? Because yeah, you had said uh, you want to go for your birthday, but it's yeah, too much. Yeah, because I thought I wasn't going to do it. And I was it. like, oh yeah, I'll pay for some of it. So that's why I kind of knew. And then you were like, oh no, it's fine, I've sorted something. Yeah, because I thought I wasn't going to do it. So I was like... Liz, like, being beside yourself. Why? Stressed. Stressed, really? yeah. vlog surprisingly my camera's actually about to die but if you want to see everything that we get up to today and the rest of the week you can check out my vlog vlogless vlogmas vlog which will come out in about a week's time Justin's having a jam in the shower but hopefully you guys enjoyed and oh god yeah we're going to paris did i say that yeah i said that <laughs>